Alright, in this next video we're going to look at how to start scripting and an introduction to writing programs in MATLAB. And this is where most of you should really be doing your work, not in the command window, uh, as we saw in the previous video. The easiest way to create a script in MATLAB is just this button up here, New Script. Alright, and we get a new window. Uh, if you've got two screens, I much prefer to have the MATLAB window on the left screen and the editor on the right, or some combination. Uh, but when we only have uh, one window, sometimes it's quite convenient to click on this little arrow and dock editor, and that way it forms part of the one window. So what the editor is, is think of it like Notepad or, or a text editor, um, but it's quite powerful and it allows you to write your MATLAB program and then save them, which is what in the command window doesn't really allow you to do. So for example, x equals 1, y equals 2.5, and let's say z equals uh, 4 plus 3i. Alright, I can now do an operation on those, x times y times z, um, and then if I wanted to I could execute the script. So what I can do is I can click run in advance and that will execute this script for me. So, alright, that, that's easy enough. We've created some variables, done a little calculation and it's displayed the solution in the command window. Now a few things to notice here. Number one, I've put a semicolon on each of these beginning lines. See what happens if I remove that. Okay, so we'll click run in advance again. In the command window you'll see each of those lines create an output in the command window. So often it's quite preferable that you keep intermediate declarations or calculations uh, hidden from the command window and the way you do that is by adding a semicolon onto the end of that line. All right, this little squiggle here with the highlight is indicating to us, hold on, do you really want to be actually doing this? Terminate the statement with a semicolon to suppress the output. All right, so it's reminding us that we've forgotten the semicolon. Sometimes we actually want to display it so we can safely ignore that. That's just a little warning there. What we'll do is we're going to save the script. So I can click save up here. I'm going to call this one video2. Alright, that's now what we call a .m file, which is .matlab. And so now I can retrieve this at any time and rerun that script if I wanted to. Let me show you a couple more features which will make scripts a lot more powerful for you. First of all, one of the features of MATLAB script, uh, scripting or editor is what's called cells. So let's say you've got uh, some assignment questions you want to do or uh, a series of steps that you want to prove in your algorithm before you actually implement the whole thing. What we can do is use 2% signs then a space and then we can say this is question 1. 2% signs space this is question 2. Now note while we're in a cell once I've created with those 2% signs of space and then a name, see how that box is highlighted yellow, right, this area in here. This means that I can actually evaluate just this section without having to worry about evaluating the next one below. So, and remember how I was clicking run in advance, run in advance, executes that one and then moves on to the next cell. Alright, so this one could be our plotting a sine wave. Alright, run in advance, run in advance, and so forth. So I can actually now execute various components of my script as I go through. Okay, and this one might be 5 times rand n04, okay, or whatever your particular uh, step is. Uh, but now I can execute these all one by one. Rather than clicking run in advance, what I prefer to do is to evaluate just the current cell by using. Uh, evaluate current selection, control plus enter. All right. So when I'm in a cell, I push, hold control, push enter, and it will execute. And as you can see, it's executing and being displayed in the command window. All right. So those are cells, and that's how to execute each cell, control and enter, much faster. A lot of students make the mistake of clicking run. That executes the whole file including all the cells, so it really ignores that cell, 
So you see it did my calculation, plotted the sine wave, and then displayed my matrix down here. So run is only really if you want to run the entire file, not just a part of it. One further thing which I normally do is that in the beginning of each cell, I put a CLC statement. And what that does is clears the screen so that only the most recent information gets displayed in the command window as such. That way you can tell what's been displayed and when. Sometimes also you might want to clear variables, which you can see are up here, between cells. So a clear statement will delete everything that's in existing in the workspace, which can be quite useful if you've got the variables of the same name within the same script. Terrible idea, but it does happen sometimes. All right, so clear is also another useful one. All right, that's the basics of scripting. Uh, very, very easy. Make sure you save it before you exit, and you can see they all sit inside whichever is the current folder on MATLAB.